Okay, so today's lesson, we're going to learn how to create multiple storyboards. The reason why you want multiple storyboards is because this way you can have um, certain members of your team work on one part of the project and other members work on other parts of your project. So before we look at the code, let's just look at what it looks like on a simulator. So as usual, you're going to just log in with the user password. This login or sign in page controller is on one storyboard and this user location controller is on another storyboard This one, the main dot storyboard, is where the sign in view controllers are. And then the app storyboard is where the rest of the view controllers after you log in are. I'm going to talk about how to create one storyboard and then separate the storyboard into two storyboards. So the first thing you're going to do is, as usual, you're going to create a single view app. We're going to call it Storyboard Lesson 11. And then, as usual, fill out everything, including user interface storyboard. If you don't know how to do this, just watch my video on um, beginner's lesson for Xcode app development. Go to your main storyboard and then you're going to add a few controller onto the storyboard. Going to add a label and then we're going to set the constraint horizontal in container, vertical in container. And then the label type in view controller one. Here also add in a label constraint. Horizontal in container, vertical in container. 
and then just call this launch view controller now what you want to do is you want to control drag sorry I don't I also need a button so search for button And then you're going to type launch view controller one. Add a top constraint with height and then horizontal constraint. Now what you're going to do is control drag from your button to view controller one and for your action segue choose show now let's just run this and see what happens on the simulator. So when you click on launch view controller one, it's going to take you to view controller one. All right, so everything works so far. Now the question is how do we separate this into two storyboards? So the way to do this is you click on your view controller one and then you go to editor ref refactor to storyboard and then you give it a name and we're just going to call it controller one dot storyboard now as soon as that happens you'll notice that Xcode creates a storyboard called controller one storyboard and then you have your main storyboard and then a reference here. If we run this on a simulator again, again click on launch view controller one takes you to field controller one okay so that's how you separate a one storyboard into two separate storyboards okay in this lesson I'm going to teach you how to create a storyboard and then connect it to 
another storyboard using a, a storyboard reference. So you're going to create a single view app as usual. And I'm going to call it storyboard lesson 12. And make sure you choose storyboard instead of Swift UI. If you're not sure uh, all the parameters you're, you're supposed to fill out, just watch my my video on beginners for Xcode dev app development. Okay, so go to your main storyboard. Drag in a label. And then call it launch view controller constrain it horizontally and vertically and then Drag in a button and type go to view controller actually. Type in go to another storyboard put in a top constraint constrain the width constrain the height and then horizontal constraint Now go to your Storyboard Lesson 12 project. You can right click or control left click. New file. Click on Storyboard. Here type in new storyboard so this is your main storyboard this is your new storyboard look for a view controller And then drag in a label and then type in you are now in the new storyboard. Constrain it horizontally and vertically. Now go back to your main storyboard and then type in reference.
drag in storyboard reference and then you're going to control drag to create a segue from the button to your storyboard reference and then for action segue choose show click on storyboard reference and then choose new storyboard we're going to run this I think I have everything that should work fine let's just see Whoops. Okay, let's look at why. Oh, okay. That's because we need to tell Xcode that this storyboard okay, is the initial entry point. Or, or rather, this view controller is the initial entry point. So where is it? Automatically just enable Titan user multi. Oh, sorry. You got to select the view controller. Okay, here it is. Is initial view controller. Okay, so run this again. Okay. Go to another storyboard. All right, so there you go. Okay, so that's how you create one storyboard connected with a storyboard reference to another storyboard.